ka pa'a o ia mau kāna wei, ua mauno ka pono e paio. I mea e ho'oia a hahai pono ia ia mau kāna wei. A o waia hole no, kahi o ia paio koi koi mua loa. At one time this valley had about 300 acres of taro. This farm here is a, what we're, my brother and I are farming is about eight acres. And of that eight acres, maybe three or so is um, wetland, taro patches. Ane ane piha he kanaha makahiki o ko pa lao o ko kona kaikua ana o Charlie Rapun mahi kalo ana mawaya hole. When we came here, the stream, the stream that we're on, Waianu, which is a tributary of Waiahole, is um, was one uh, one sixth of what it is today. Mai awa e lawe i ana kawaiya Waiahole ina aina malo o he mahi ko o na kona mau ke o na ihana awaiya ana puka iku kulu ia e ko Ahu Sugar Company. Since the Waihole ditch system was put into place in you know, the early 1900s, all of the water from the streams and communities from Kahana all the way to Kahalu'u were diverted. Ua huki ia makahi o ke kana kolu miliona kalani vai i kela meke ia la, ka nui ho ie piha i he kana ha kuma lima puna vai au. So we had chronic water shortage. We had to move our water around a lot, dry out patches, a lot more weed problem, a lot more problem with rot. Makepani iyo ahu sugar company ka makahiki umi kumaiwa kanaiwa kuma kolu ua ho maka kapo e e paio no ka hoi hoi ia o ke ia vai i lawe o koa ia no ka aina mahi ko. 95% of our streams were diverted by sugar and um, now that sugar is gone, pretty much gone, I think it's time to restore our stream. Ua koma pū nā repun me kona koa lau ma ka hoʻo pii i ke komi kina wai no ke ia hoʻi hoʻi ia o ka wai o ia aina i kona aina pono i nō. Because when we started both our water cases, we thought, oh, this is, this is clear cut, this is easy, this is open and shut. In Waiahole and in many of the other communities that are struggling to restore Malkutumakai stream flow to their communities, the public trust has really been a foundation of our legal arguments. Ua hooholo mua ke komi kina vai e ka ana like ia no ka vai i vaina o koko o lau me kokona a ka ua ka uoha o koa ka aha ho o kolo kolo moku aina ki e ki e loa i ke komi kina e nā nā a ka lai lai hou i ke ia hooholo ana. It was the first time that the Hawaii Supreme Court considered our constitutional provisions and our state water code and applied them um, in an active case. Ua ho oia ho i kō ka ahaki e ki e i keia ano ili pono ana o ka pōmai ka i o ka vai i kō ke kaia ulu holo o koa. A ua ho i ho i ia nō he umi kuma lua miliona kalani vai, he umi kuma valu ho i puna vai au o ka lā. Now the stream is six times bigger, it makes a huge difference. It's, it's much easier to manage the water, the taro is more hard, less some um, disease in it, much more healthy. In many ways, Waihole has been a beacon of hope for our communities. It was vital because it established important legal precedent. It's not a commodity that's owned by any one individual. Instead, it's something that's managed for the greater good, for the benefit of present and future generations. Kaino wa paahe la ana hoahali ke mai ka iloa ma hope o Waihole. E ia nā e mau nō ka pono o ka paio, a o maui kahi o nā paio nui e lua e holo nei anō, ke kahi mā maui hikina, a ke kahi mā i ao mā anō. The value of vai is the most important thing of all what men need, vai. In Hawaii, in, in, in indigenous people, vai is the virtue of life. I ka wāka hiko, ua lako pono nō ka au au hikino o maui i ka vai e kahe ana mana kaha vai. A ka ua loli loa ke la i nga pā o i hana mahi kō, mā ko lako kukulu ana i ka ona i hana au vai e lawe i a kua i ka vai i kahi e. So the East Maui irrigation system was originally put into place to transport water from the windward side, the wetter side, to the drier Central Valley. On average, um, the, the entire ditch system from Makapipi all the way to Honopo stream um, it's about 160 million gallons a day. And to put that in context, the entire domestic use of Oahu is about the same, about 160 million gallons a day. So that's how much is being taken out of East Maui streams. 
Kauka i o Hawaiian Commercial and Sugar Company ka pāui hana mahi ko hope loa ma Hawaii ni, ma ka vai e halihali ia na ma keia o nei hana na EMI. Upkeep and maintenance of the entire irrigation system, stretching from East Maui all the way to delivery of water you know, to the sugarcane plant, is about 25% of our operating budget. Kauka i pū o HCNS ma ka vai e kahe ana ma ke kahi ao ao Maui ma ka onai hana au vai kukulu ia e wailuku sugar. They're diverting all four of the streams, pretty much taking all of the water. That amounts to about 60 to 70 million gallons per day. Ua wala au wau me ko ua hana i noho ai maanei mau makahiki aku nei, wahi a lako ua haalele lako makahi o kana kana ono kuma lima makahiki aku nei ma muli o ka ole o ka wai. Awa mau aku no keia ano lawe i aku o ka wai no keia mau makahiki he lo ihi. E yano nae i loko o keia mau makahiki i hale iho nei, ua ho'o maka na kupo o ka aina e kumai a pai o no ka pono. The plantation had 130 years of privilege. It is our turn now. Loa'a e lua pai o e holo nei ma Maui, ma wai na kamua o na mahi kalo o ka au au hikino o Maui me HCNS, a make make na mahi kalo e hoi hoi ia he ho'o kahi haneli kanaono miliona ka lani wai o ka la i na kaha wai o Leila. A kā, i nai hoi hoi ia ka wai i kaha wai, a ole hoi o HCNS vale no kai pilikia. If all of the water were to be lost, I mean obviously the first thing would be the loss of 800 jobs here in the Central Valley. Um, it would mean, you know, the hundreds of millions of dollars that HCNS puts into the local economy. Ma ke kahi ao ao ka mokupuni, ke paio nei na mahi kalo o iao ma, me ka pā ui hana o Wailuku Water Company, o Wailuku Sugar no hoi ia ma mua, no ka hoi hoi ia o ka vai, mai nga vai e hā. I nga aohe vai ma ke kaha wai aole hiki ke kanu i ke kalo, i nga aole hiki ke kanu i ke kalo, aole hiki ke kanu. Hanai i ko ohana. He manao oia i o kona ao ao a pau no ko pono o ka vai a lakou. E i ano nae o ke kule ana i o ke komikina vai na lakou e ho oholo no ke ano e ho o kele ia e ke kahe ana o ka vai ma hawai i nei. It took over 150 years for us, for this water to be stolen. Well, under the water code, they're charged with, first of all, protecting the public trust resources. So their first job is to make sure that there's enough water in those streams to protect those public trust purposes. I ka makahiki e lua kaukani e kahi, ua noi ke kahi o ko maui hikina i ke komikina e hoi hoi ia ka vai i nga kaha vai he iwa ka lua kuma hiku no ka pono o ka lehu lehu. A i ka makahiki e lua kaukani e valu, ua hoi hoi ia no ka vai e valu o nga kaha vai, a e kahe ana no ka vai o ke kahi o ia mau kaha vai i ka aina lo i kalo o Anakala Ed Went ma wai lua nui. The release of the water, as you can see, has made a great difference. The o opo, o pai, hi i vai, all come back. Abundance coming back. And our people coming back. Ma ke kahi ao ao ka mokupuni, ma kahi o i ao ma, ua hoi hoi ia ke kahi hapa o ka vai i e lua o nga kaha vai he e ha o Leila. At first they were going to give roughly half-half, half to the streams, half to the plantations for agriculture. Now they peeled that back, so now it's less than a fifth for the streams. No wai ka pū, ke kaha vai e kahe ana i ko hoku ao aina, a ohe wahi kulu o ka vai hoi hoi ia i Leila. I nga mamake mako e ho ala hou i nga loi kalo holo o koa ma ko ili aina, ma hea ka vai. We're appealing the commission's decision. It should take a couple of years, but at least at this point we can you know, point to the law that's already been established in the Waihole case. You know, point to the principle that water is a public trust. Pehea la koho pena o ke ia mau paio ana, he mau ki ina hana ko i ko i no ke ia. The impacts of this case are huge. First of all, if you look at this community, it's legendary in Hawaiian culture. It includes the two largest streams on Maui. It used to be the breadbasket of Maui. And trying to restore, you know, the environment, those streams, from Mauka to Makai, and also the Hawaiian culture that depends on it. He mea pono i mamake wao e ike i ka hoi hoi 
ke kahe hou i ka wai no ke kai aulu, no ka lehu lehu, no keia mau mea mehe leo ole. You know, for others who want to restore their water, who want to um, continue their traditions and restore their traditions, it will really um, set a precedent for them and and let them know that yes, these this is what the law says, and, and it will be followed. These groundworks are setting the stage for everywhere, gonna make it easier for you to get back your vibe.